What about a restaurant where dinner is the show? In Needham, Fuji Steakhouse serves up food with a definite flair. It's more like an experience in this meal. It's a real experience. Owner Sean Huang's family opened Fuji in 2003. At the time, it was one of a few hibachi restaurants in Massachusetts. Hibachi is, is a skill. Our chef learned from their master, so it's teaching one by one. It's not like there's a hibachi school, something you can learn from. Okay, fire. Hibachi, which translates to fireball, is a Japanese style of grilling. Although its exact origin is unknown, sources date this practice back to 800 AD. Today, hibachi chefs in the U.S. often add a dash of humor to their dishes. You have to be passionate about this job. Even though you are passionate at the beginning, but you have to consistently making yeah. people laugh. Chef Leo Zhao makes this daring do appear effortless. There's artistry along with the daring do. A crowd favorite at Fuji Steakhouse, the volcano. Wow. Chef Leo carefully layers slices of onion on top of each other. Surely, novices can give this a shot. So you gotta start with the big one at the bottom there. It's gonna be a little mini volcano. <laughs> and of course, what's a volcano without an eruption? Fire, hey, happy, hey. <laughs> This unusual <clears throat> tool certainly isn't a fire extinguisher, but, well, it works. You can't do this on TV, Leo. This is a family show. All joking aside, Chef Leo is serious about his food. A classic hibachi meal here includes chicken, shrimp, or steak, seasoned fried rice, savory sauces made with soy, ginger, or mustard, and grilled vegetables. Safe to say these customers give this dinner and show five stars. <laughs> and owner Sean Huang says he's actually taking over the business from his father. Right, his father is retiring after running the restaurant for 20 years, That's two great. decades, and so he'll be taking it over his son. And uh, for those who know the area and need him here, mm -hmm. it's just down the road from Channel 5, so, you know, a few of our staff goes down there quite <laughs> often. <laughs> Seems to enjoy it very much. <laughs> All right, everybody, that is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Anthony Everett. And I'm Shannon Seymour. Have a great one. We'll see you back here tomorrow night. Good night.